If you have a wasp problem, you're going to want to stick around. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel, as there's a lot more videos to come. Now's the time to knock them out and get rid of them. <laughs> yep, they always build their nests in the trickiest spot. This time, these guys built their nest right under our staircase, and they're starting to buzz around like crazy. So it's time to get these guys gone and make sure they don't come back. They built their nest right under the top deck, in between the beams. You can see them flying around, so we're going to be careful to check them out as you don't want to be stung by these wasps. You can see we caught them in the early stages as they're still trying to build their nest. They're working on the outside and the inside, not knowing how many are inside the nest. Trying not to get too close to really make them mad, because today is not the day to get stung. Look how content and happy they are building their home and laying their eggs. But they would have been happier if they would have built somewhere else that they're not going to be knocked down because we're going to pick up some supplies and get rid of the nest. So we ran out to pick up some supplies. Here we picked up some Raid. This helps kill wasps and hornets. Great for spraying on their nests to get rid of them. We also found this Y trap for capturing wasps, hornets, and yellow jackets. If you have not seen my previous video, I'll link it in this video, as we set it up a few days ahead of time. Now before spraying the Raid, make sure to twist and snap off this tab before using it. Finding this Y-trap has been amazing, as it's caught so many wasps ahead of time, trying to cut down the population of wasps in our yard, and lessening the chances for us to be stung. On the back of the Y-box trap is an indication chart of what you can look for for the type of wasps, hornets, or yellow jackets that you are dealing with. Here you can see they're still busy away building their nest. It's pretty neat to see how they design their own nests. It's quite amazing how they work. So before we spray them, I'll give you just a quick watch of how they're building onto their nest. If you don't want to see this part, you're welcome to skip ahead.
So if you're ready for the nest to be sprayed down, you can listen to all the noise they make as some of the wasps are inside, not knowing how many wasps there are. But there must be quite a bit because just listen to the sounds they make once the nest is sprayed. Now I'm trying to keep my distance before spraying the nest and the wasps getting very mad. Fun. There's none of them out there now. Huh? We're spraying this nest completely down and soaking it really good to make sure they all die. Now right away you'll see them trying to get out of the nest. And listen to the sound because it's all from the wasps. You can hear the sound of them getting very angry. Can you put your hand under on this side? Oh, there's one. It's flying around. I see them. Staircase. Yeah, I know. I'm interested to see what it'll look like, but I don't want to get caught underneath there. I just sprayed that thing to all the hell. They're buzzing hard now. No, you can hear them. That was pretty much close to the full camera. Now, where I was standing, I could not hear the buzzing. But because the camera was mounted right under the deck, you can clearly hear all of the wasps and their frustration of being trapped inside the wasp nest. As some of the wasps start flying back to check out what's going on with their home, this is where the Y trap will come in very handy catching all the extra wasps flying around. So if you keep watching, you'll start to hear that the wasps are starting to die inside the nest, as the buzzing will start getting quieter.
be sure to capture the next video coming out as we're going to leave this nest up for the next few days to make sure all the wasps are completely dead and our Y trap captures more of the wasps outside of this nest. I will be counting how many wasps were caught inside this wasp nest. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for the next video, coming very soon. Once the video is up, I will post it to this video to make it easier to find. Sorry for the heart attack, I'm just trying to kill more wasps. As you can hear, the noise level has gone down sufficiently. This is why you want to stand back because they will attack. As you can hear, one tried to attack my phone. So here we're just taking a look on how many fell down onto our lower deck. Just right below the nest. Here's another angle after spraying the nest. So if you're looking to get rid of your wasps and nest, Make sure to pick up some of this Raid Wasp and Hornet Killer. And be sure not to miss out on the next video of taking down the wasp nest, opening it up, and seeing how many wasps were inside the nest. So click that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and thanks for watching. We'll see you later.